All right, this is Coach Williams, and I wanted to create a video for you guys so that we could talk about the uh, new uh, volleyball set numbering system that we're going to move to. Uh, for a while now, we've been calling our sets by the number of the attack zones. If you'll notice, you've got one all the way across to nine, and that's how we've been calling the sets up to this point. Uh, the problem with that is that it doesn't really allow us to um, be as specific as we would like to be in some cases. And then also, um, it doesn't translate into club ball or into the collegiate level. We have you know, some uh, athletes that are going to go on to play in college or you know, several that play club ball now. A lot of times these numbers don't jive with uh, the ones that you're using in club ball. So it's confusing when you go back and forth. Now, some of the things are going to be the same, but then other things are going to be a, a little more specific. And we'll start with the one set. And the one set is actually going to be a low set right across the net. You'll notice the setter's in this position here. Uh, if she's setting to a five, or if she's setting to the three's attack zones, or the seven attack zone, or the nine attack zone, but she's using a one set, then those are going to be quicks. Those are all quick sets. If you'll notice there's a little reference chart down here. We're going to call quick sets by the letters. So if we have an A, that's actually a 31. You'll notice the numbers down here say 31. Uh, that 31 means I'm in attack zone 3, but I want a set of a 1, a quick set. So if I'm wanting quick, set, quick sets, now I don't just say quick, quick, quick. Now I'm actually saying AAA or BBB or CCC or DDD, and the setter knows the, the attack zone to push the, the one set or the quick set to. Um, and that way it's a little more specific. Um, it helps us whenever our hitters are calling those out. It helps communicate a little more specific with the setter of where that quick set needs to be. All right, uh, what we used to have as a five, setting this a five, you know, location attack zone is actually going to be called a two and the two there's actually two uh, sets that we'll call a two and that's going to be the one right in front of the setter or one right behind the setter it's going to have a little height on it so it gives the you know the hitter time to get there but that's going to be the two set all right so this going to be two set that'll go to the middle or maybe a a uh, what we call a a quick slide here not a quick set but a, a close or a tight slide uh, a normal slide is going to be going all the way out to the outside. So if we say a, a wide or a slide, you'll see that a lot of times too. It'll say they'll say wide here. Uh, that means we're going to push the ball all the way out to this nine attack zone, uh, but it's going to have that height of you know about a a two or so. Uh, the two that we're going to call a two though is going to be our middle set or the middle coming around the setter to come into this seven attack zone. So those will be twos. Our three is going to be our normal three. We're going to set that to the three zone. Uh, you'll see on your papers uh, a lot of times uh, they call this a rip. Uh, also, I don't I don't know that I've really heard the rip too much, uh, so I'm not sure we'll call it a rip. We'll just call it a three. Uh, and that one's going to be one that stays the same, so that three is going to go to that three zone. It's not going to be just terribly high, uh, but it's going to be right across to that three zone. Our four is the big change. That's not a one. That is a gonna, that's going to be a four now. So it goes out. It's a high set out to the one, uh, the attack zone one, uh, and that's going to be a you know a, a good uh, you know high set out there to the outside hitter or the strong side we call hitter sometimes. Um, so that's going to be the big change. And then now the other big change is that the five is going to be that high set out to our nine uh, attack zone nine. So our weak side or our uh, nine attack zone uh, hitter is going to have a five as the regular higher set. Again, the slide. The slide can actually, you know, we can play this slide where we can have the uh, middle come outside around the setter. And we can actually have uh, a combination here where we run an offense where we have the nine uh, attack zone. We can have that outside weak side hitter come in to a seven uh, to a C, we'll say, to a C, and the, the, the middle hitter runs around outside to this 9 zone, and, and both of those can be calling those you know set numbers. Uh, your weak side hitter is calling a C, uh, your middle is calling a slide, and that gives the uh, setter options to hit, you know, to go to both those, uh, both those locations. So 
again, this just gives us a little more uh, flexibility in calling sets and knowing exactly what kind of set and where it goes. Uh, now that's all front row attack zones, and you'll notice again we have a little bit of information down here. The you know the A, Bs, and Cs and Ds are all the 31s, 51s, 71, 91s. That just means there's attack zone three with a one set, um, so on and so forth all the way through. Uh, the slides uh, you'll notice here should be a set about the same speed as a three, maybe a little bit faster. And then this two ball to the outside hitter. Um, the shoot is about a height of a two ball, like we would normally set to a five, uh, but it's going to be that outside hitter. That's going to be familiar with, to us as well. We've done that. Now, that's all front row attacks, uh, our back row attacks. A lot of times people will use white, uh, black and red, or brown and red. Um, we're going to use blue since we're the Wolf's Point Tigers. Uh, and those colors are not as difficult to adjust to as you move from uh, team to team here. So I, I think this will be easy enough for us to do here. We'll have white, blue, and red. So now our back row players, instead of calling just back, you know back row, back row, back row, and the setters having to actually set to the voice or to the sound of the voice of the player calling it, now the back row player is actually calling a location for that back row attack. So if we're going to have a back row player that's in our left back position, they're calling white, and now the setter knows she's going to set to that, to the common location uh, to where that back row attacker can attack the ball from that left back position. Same thing with blue, same thing with red. And you'll see this little word pipe. Uh, pipe is also another word you'll hear, and that's just obviously just a middle back row attack, so you'll see that as well. And what that middle back row attack also does when we call pipe, it clears uh, for this back row player to come up. It's going to clear that player to come all the way up to the middle. So the middle hitter knows to move out of the way or to run up uh, to the net for a uh, you know ball that may be blocked or come right back so they can get in a defensive position. Uh, so pipe has its own little meaning as well. It's not just setting that back row. It's also clearing so that middle back can come up and hit right at the 10-foot line if they want to. So. All right, hopefully this has been a little bit um, clearer than mud. Uh, as some of you have been uh, expressing concerns about interpreting the, our page here, I uh, just wanted to give this video so this, is, this helps you out and gives you a little bit more information on the, the new set numbers. I want you guys to be familiar with this. Obviously, work on this over the summer. Hopefully, we'll get all this converted over and we start the season next year. We'll be in good shape. All right, thanks. Y'all have a great day.